But let's start in the Swiss Alps. Where else? I showed you some of the antics at Davos last week, the annual World Economic Forum event where big business and big government try to impose their great reset without resorting to painful processes like, you know, democracy. But over the weekend, it's only gotten more ridiculous. Look at what the rich, woke and earnest have been getting up to. That, apparently, is an example of music building climate awareness. Maybe they need some other kind of awareness, eh? Now, I mentioned last week that Greta Thunberg was not among the billionaires and political leaders in the Swiss ski village this year, but look who increased her carbon footprint by turning up. You seem to be joining the establishment, not fighting them anymore. <laughs> Are you not one of them? One of who? What, the people in the private jets and the helicopters flying in here to tell us how to live our lives? Yes, because I have many private jets of my own, yes. Asking those questions was Calvin Robertson, British Conservative commentator from GB News. You've seen him on this channel too. Here's another of his queries for Greta. Every time a Western government implements a net zero policy, it's common folk that are suffering, especially in a cost of living crisis. Do you have anything to say on that? Yeah, it's horrible that people are being affected by by different things like example, the climate crisis and so on. People are being displaced and losing their lives. It's horrible. Yeah, instead of focusing on the hardship imposed by climate and energy policies, you know, the critical energy crisis in Europe, not to mention here and elsewhere, what we get from Thunberg and plenty of others is crazy claims about people being displaced and even killed by global warming. Which brings me to Al Gore the patron saint of climate alarmism. Yes, this millionaire activist was at Davos too. And despite most of his frightening predictions falling way short in the past, his global warming hysteria seems to have been turned up to 11. And all the greenhouse gas pollution would be below you. We're still putting 162 million tonnes into it every single day. And the accumulated amount is now trapping as much extra heat as would be released by 600,000 Hiroshima-class atomic bombs exploding every single day on the Earth. That's what's boiling the oceans, creating these atmospheric rivers and the rain bombs and sucking the moisture out of the land and creating the droughts and melting the ice and raising the sea level and causing these waves of climate refugees predicted to reach one billion in this century. Look at the xenophobia and political authoritarian trends that have come from just a few million refugees. What about a billion? Honestly, they ought to give this guy some sort of a talk show. It should be Jerry Springer or something. This is shrill. This is hysterical, unscientific, ideological, irresponsible, alarmist tosh. And he makes a mozza from it, of course. This supposedly is our global leadership at work in Davos. And we wonder why we're in strife. 